players, formations, plays. If Pete Carroll's not going to deviate from who the Seahawks are, as he told us on Friday morning, I'm certainly not going to deviate away from players, formations, plays. It's been kind of the essence of Chalk Talk for four years, but I will say this. Uh, this becomes a really big deal. The coach isn't deviating from who this team is and how they're built, but he is going to figure out how to rectify this situation because 31 sacks through the first seven games of this season on pace for over 70 sacks for a season is not good enough. The negative plays, the pounding that he's taken, what it's doing to the psyche of this offensive line, this offensive group, the rhythm and tempo, this has got to change. So as much as this play is about breaking down Tyler Lockett's big touchdown pass, and there's some football to be studied in it, it's also, I think, forecasting ahead of how Pete is going to get this Thing change at the line of scrimmage, how they are going to protect better. And I think this play and the play action pass off of it is one of those things that Pete pointed to on Friday of mixing the timing, of mixing the tempo, of mixing the launch point of where they're at. First and 10 at the 43. This followed Doug Baldwin. A couple really good throws from Russell, by the way. Jermaine Curse on a little uh, seam route. Doug Baldwin on a check down. The face mask penalty. It set up first and 10 at the 43. Already up 10-0. 3 340 in the second quarter. And uh, typically an area of the field between the 40s where coordinators love to take shots. And I think furthered by the fact you came off a very positive play. A 22-yard pass to Curse. And after the penalty to Baldwin, pushing it into the field position range where you like to make this call and they've made some of these you know through the first six weeks of the season you had saw them and seen them try to take shots down the field to Tyler Lockett it just never quite sorted itself out protection wise it never sorted itself out because the run game wasn't good enough to set up the the really effective play action pass but through the first uh, 25 minutes of this game uh, the running game was going and it was going with their two back personnel their 21 personnel two back one tight end uh, this is Luke Wilson in the game doing a good job. One of his better games blocking against the 49ers. Tukuafu in. They start in their green left formation, their eye formation. They're going to shift Tukuafu, Tukuafu up on the ball. They're going to take Lockett off the ball. And they're going to present, and San Francisco presents a very base look defensively. You see press, and press equals typically man coverage, especially in this case where the face mask is looking right at Lockett and right on Ricardo Lockett on the other side. They set up their deep play pass, which I love and has been so successful for Russell Wilson. And he's going to come off the slant, the outside stretch play, and when he finishes his drop from the line of scrimmage, was at the 43, he's finishing 11 yards deeper. He is giving these guys an opportunity up front to all in this protection, all slide. Very easy, not the man-on-man -man protection, but all sliding, trying to form that wall together with slide protection and Russell getting 11 yards deep, and we will see more of this. This is just that margin for error in their pass protection is greatly increased with this kind of action, this kind of set, the space that you give Russell player formation plays, the space you give him to operate in the pocket away from everybody else, a formation that's advantageous that says run and because of it you know where these safeties are pre-snap they are sitting eight yards deep because 21 personnel with Tukuafu and as much as they were running it tells these safeties ah, it's going to be a run and these guys are all nosy they're all downhill they're all looking you get to a formation and you get to a protection that gives these guys a chance to breathe they're not just man protecting and Gilliam getting blown up or getting beat and all of a sudden you know what uh, he's getting hit nope we're going to slide protect. We're going to create that wall. We're going to get Russell 11 yards deep. And then you're going to let what these guys and these players do best. And that is flat out run. And you watch Ricardo Lockett run on this. He never slows down. He never stops. He crosses that corner's face right off the ball, which sets up this whole thing. The safety's looking at him and he's blowing by him. And when Russell Wilson throws this ball from opposite the 50 yard line, uh, <laughs> it's really fun to freeze it because Tyler is at the 20 and he lets go of that ball and it carries another three yards deep into the end zone 23 more yards from the time that he throws it to Tyler accelerates into the end zone players give them a chance to put their speed on display formation give your offensive line a chance to mix it up to wall them off to take some of the burden off their man protection and then ultimately make the play allow Russell Wilson to have air and when he throws this ball well he has three yards of space between himself and the nearest defender I'm going to give my guy Nowak I've been hard on he does a nice job of peeling back in protection you give him space you give him room you allow Tyler to use his great speed you mix up your launching point you change the 
rhythm of your offense. It's a three-step. It's a deep play pass. It's a screen pass. It's a conventional pass. That's how you start to lower this number. That's how you get this under control because if this team makes the playoffs uh, on pace for 70, 70 plus sacks on the season, it's not going to happen. Get that under control. The offense finds rhythm and they're going to be even more explosive plays to be found.